Hello, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? My name is Antonio Anthony. I ask that you like and subscribe to my page. Uh, and today, what I want to communicate to you all is that this page is a, a community development, a community resource and development page. Um, it's not a page based on individual prosperity, but more of a collective. I believe that black people, in order to get to the place we need to be in life, that we're going to need to reunify. We're going to have to re-understand who we was as a people in the past and who we are today. We have to understand the economics that put us in our current condition. Yes, it was economics and government policies. I want black people to understand that you will never out-hustle or outwork the U.S. print press. Black men have hustle. We have work ethic. White men have the U.S. printing press. Why would you say the white man has the U.S. printing press? The white man had the U.S. printing press. 2008 recession verifies that the white man has a print press. Let me explain. How did the housing crisis happen? It happened because the banks were artificially creating mortgages with over overpriced housing to create a bubble till it bust. Where were they getting the money from? The banks would create a mortgage. A lot of times interest rate on interest only, adjustable rate on mortgages, what they call arms, you only pay the interest, and they would make a person be be able to afford a house based off of the low entry point but he would never be able to afford the principles. And they would package that mortgage, take that $100,000 mortgage to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, which was government entities, and they would sell that, that mortgage for two, dollars $300,000. All you have to do is go to your computer, look up a mortgage calculator, and do the calculation. How, much, how long a 30-year mortgage will last? They did this by refinancing mortgages at very low interest rates as well, or starting them off at adjustable rate interest mortgages and allowing people to get uh, the equity out of their houses, pay off their credit card debt, and things of that nature, but have this balloon interest rate, but have this higher mortgage with another interest rate, right? And eventually, when it came time to pay on the principles, a lot of people couldn't do that, so it forced a collapse. So these banks, bankers who lived half the hog from overinflating the market, creating these mortgages while you're working, trying to pay off debt, build your credit, save money for a down payment, they're ballooning the mortgages. So you went from having to save 10000 to now 13000 for a down payment, 10% on this house, to the following year, maybe $17,000 constantly pricing you out of out of the range of the market uh, buying a house because they was getting money handed to them hand over fist through the government by selling these mortgages to Freddie Mae and Freddie Mac. Then when the bubble bust and they go into debt, a president, Obama, who black people voted 97% for, goes into all to the White House, right? He goes into the White House and he bails these same banks that causes the collapse of the economy out, giving them trillions of dollars. These same banks turned around and gave the executives who were responsible for the crisis billions of dollars in bonuses. All this money come from the U.S. press. This money was printed and given to them. How do you think your labor is going to keep up with a print press? And when you look at even when you look at smaller individual white households versus black households, blacks are denied loans for houses with the same interest rates as uh, with the same uh, credit score as whites in Milwaukee somewhere like seven to one, and it varies, but it's always a high rate that whites are giving credit for houses at the, that blacks are denied at. So these white people are able to create a second income off of you. 
How would they do that? You can't get the financing for a house, so you're required to rent. They're able to get a second mortgage on their house, finance purchasing your house. You pay off the mortgage on that house, which is called mortgageization. So they was able to get a business plan based off you paying off the mortgage that black people are denied a mortgage for paying off that same house. So you're putting wealth into their family, right? And then, and they're having, and they're investing in your community through what is called empowerment zone progress processes, right? Where your community is a tax haven. So they purchase properties in your community and they pay a fraction of the taxes. So, that, what do the property taxes pay for in your community? Property taxes pay for your schools. Property taxes pay for your roads. Property taxes pay for your water. These are things that the property taxes provide for. They're getting a discount to purchase on, on the property taxes in order to purchase the house in your community so it's nothing but a tax haven and they have no incentive to fix up the house that you're paying rent in because if they fix the house up, the house loses value. The house, the ta they use the tax shelter. The tax value rise. So it's more suitable for them to allow you to pay off the mortgage for them to put no money into the house, let the house devalue, right? Let you live in squalor, right? And all they have to do is, 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 is take a tax reduction, a devaluation of the house. So if the house worth $100,000 that they rent out to you, then they get to take off 20% uh, uh, of the value of the house. And, 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 and instead of them paying $80,000 in taxes, now they only pay $60,000 in taxes because they devalue the, the house you living in that's falling apart. So all so what black people have to understand that there's no incentive for them to fix up your community, right? And the incentive for them to purchase the house in your community takes away from the value of your community by depriving your school of finances, by depriving your roads, right? By taking away the incentive to fix up the property because they don't want to increase the value of the house because then it takes away from the property taxes because then it adds to the property taxes. This is why this is a community development and resource uh, platform is because you have to understand that you're going to have to be a stakeholder in your community. You're going to have to be, you're going to, have to be a stockholder and a stakeholder. You're going to have to own your community. You have to remove the empowerment zones because, yes, that's a higher tax, but you want the investment going into your school. You want the investment going into your roads. Right. You don't want other people incentivized to move to go into your community and to buy properties in your community and be incentivized not to develop or properly grow your properties or grow your community. Right. So what I'm suggesting to black people is what we have to do is we have to learn the, the process of unity. We have to learn from various other communities. Right. We have to learn the importance of becoming more self-sufficient. So this platform is more about targeting areas of community growing. Right. Greenhouses, producing your own food, producing, getting to a point where you can produce access, go outside the community, supply farmer markets. Right. So. The economic inclusion allow you to purchase and pro and trade them products within your own community. You trying to uh, you trying to recapture and learn skills and trades, carpentry, uh, mechanics, things that we have lost when we took on these manual labor jobs for these uh, hourly wages. We have to recapture those skill sets in order to develop and be a community.
right? Because other people have an incentive in keeping you impoverished. It is financially beneficial for you to rent out a house from them, pay off their mortgage. And after they have deprived your school of financial resources that you sent your school to and your child graduate from school with a lack of certain skill sets, what do you do? You create a, an additional market for white people to rent to your children by telling your children you got to get out and pay somebody else rent. Because even in your family, you haven't con uh, uh, learned the concept of collective or cooperative economics. So even if your child did have to start working for you to take that additional income and to grab a property because nobody in the family has no skill sets or have these trades, right? We're unable to even take advantage of the dilapidated properties in our community and restore to give or provide for our children. That's why this is a community development and resource building page. This is about us, yes, I'm gonna say this, resegregating. And I say that because if you live in proximity to each other, then your interests, your goals are collective. And what they have did is they tricked us into that burning building that Martin Luther King spoke about, which was so-called false integration. So you move out to them other communities, right? And what happens is you dilute your power, right? So my suggestion is economic exclusion after we build our own resources and focus on trading, doing business amongst each other. And you have we have examples of success by, of this. And you look at places such as China. China has learned how to benefit off the fiat dollar by being producers, by manufacturing products and supplying those products to America. And supplying those products to America. So that's more of my process, that's more of my practice. My next video will be about uh, us setting up community development, my strategy. Uh, I just want black people to understand that you're not going to keep up with the U.S. printing press.